welcome to the world of butterflies. I am Monarch Butterfly and I will tell all of you the story of my life. Please listen carefully and after my story you will see butterflies in a whole new way. So let's go and explore the wonders of the life of the Monarch Butterfly. It all starts on a plant called the common milkweed. That's where my mum laid a few dozen eggs. This is me trying to get out. And there are the others. Some of them are almost out. First I have to chew a huge hole in the egg with my mandible so I could get out. See how much work it is. Some of my brothers and sisters are already out. I'll follow them soon. Just a little bit more. Ugh, it's so hard. Oh, come on. Finally, I got out. Once we hatch, we are very hungry. Everything is perfectly arranged because we can eat what's left from our eggs. All the food we need to get stronger is right there. We don't have a mum to take care of us. Right from the start we are quite independent and don't need our parents at all. We just know what to do. When we feel cold, hungry or afraid, we feel the same way you do. Bite by bite, together with my brothers and sisters, we start to feed on the leaves. For other animals, the common milkweed is a poisonous plant, even for you humans, but not for monarch butterfly. That's why we have such a distinctive combination of colours. It's a warning to predators. If some frog or bird happened to eat me for lunch, when I was still in caterpillar form, they would feel very sick. Because we eat the common milkweed, animals who eat us are poisoned by the chemicals that we have in our body. Monarch caterpillars like me eat 3,000 times our own body weight. Just imagine that! We eat and eat. We are little eating machines. But even caterpillars argue sometimes. Just like here, seems like we've both chosen the same leaf for dinner. Hey bro, can't you see this leaf is taken? Go and find yourself a new one. Monarch caterpillars will turn into butterflies eventually. We become butterflies that can do something no other butterfly can do. Are you curious? Do you want to know what's so special about us? I'm going to make you wait a while so you'll get more curious. When we are caterpillars, we can do lots of cool stuff. See? We are like acrobats, flexible, stretchy, simply perfect. She's a bit heavy. Seems like she's going to turn into a butterfly soon. Well, I was right. You say you don't know what I mean? OK, I will eat some more juicy leaves and then I will tell you. You say that all I do is make promises? This was the second time? OK, OK, I just wanted you to be more excited. Well, I won't walk around anymore. But first things first, before I tell you what's so special about us, I'll show you all the cool stuff that a butterfly caterpillar can do. One day we pupate, 
we create a solid case around us and in there our caterpillar bodies will turn into a butterfly. It means that inside of that case, as time passes, we are changing into a completely different creature. Isn't that awesome? During one lifetime, we have the chance to experience two different life forms. That's how we make a pupa. It's almost a miracle, don't you think? When we change into a pupa, we stay still for the full time of our transformation. In our pupa stage, we mutate, so we can be reborn as a butterfly. And that's how I changed in a pupa after a few weeks. From a caterpillar into a butterfly. Wow, I got four beautiful and colourful wings. Awesome! See how they are covered with tiny scales? Oh, and I've got this cool long sliding sucker. Isn't it funny? It has a purpose. I won't eat common milkweed anymore. Now I will suck nectar from flowers and that's why I've got a long sucker so I can get inside the blossoms. That's what's left from my pupa. Now I can fly off. And now the time has come to tell you what's so special about us. Although we weigh just a fraction of an ounce and our wings are less than four inches wide, we can travel long distances and we have incredible endurance. We can fly over 3,000 miles so we can escape the winter. Most monarch butterflies live in North America, although some of us also live in Australia where they call us wanderers. We fly from Canada and the USA all the way to Mexico and back. No other butterfly is able to undertake such a long journey, just us. Lots of dangers await us on our journey. We must overcome them all so we can reach a nice warm place where we will survive the winter. We might be caught and eaten by spiders, frogs, birds. We can even be caught by a cat. We have to eat a lot during our journey, so we have enough strength for such an exhausting trek. And for that, we use our long sliding sucker. Look how skilled we are. We can get anywhere with it. Even into the most narrow parts of a flower. We'll reach every drop of precious nectar, which we love and need so much. Now you won't laugh at our sucker anymore, will you? You couldn't do something like that. For monarch butterflies like me, it is something perfectly natural. The same as transforming from a caterpillar into a butterfly, or flying such long distances. But we're sensitive to temperature changes, so we can't survive when it's too hot or cold. But that's the same for all creatures in the world. Over the winter, the places we are born are so cold, we wouldn't survive if we stayed there. To survive the winter, we fly to central Mexico, to the border between the states of Michoacán and Mexico. Monarch butterflies live all around the world, 
but only the ones that are born in Canada can make this long journey. In Mexico, we fly through deep forests that are formed by huge old trees where it's just the right temperature for us. Thousands and thousands of us will settle on these trees. We will sit next to each other. The bigger the trees are, the more heat they give to our fragile little bodies. That's how we survive the winter, side by side in the forest, full of life-saving warmth. So what do you say? Aren't we amazing? We started our butterfly life as an egg, from which a little caterpillar had to chew itself out. Do you remember the beginning of our story? For up to five months, we stay on trees in Mexico. All the time we press close to each other to stay warm as possible. When the spring comes, we start our journey back to Texas, California, all around America and to Canada. We fly only during the day, never after sunset. That's because we need the sun. We need the sun not only for warming us up, but also so we can find our way. See how we depend on nature and our environment. It is a really challenging journey, and not all of us will make it. But that's life. Only the strongest will survive. Everyone plays their own part in life. Some will never see the end of the journey, and some will reach the warmth safely. So do you know more about the monarch butterflies now? I hope you do. Good night to all, and don't forget your friends, the monarch butterfly. Bye-bye. <laughs>